Hi guys, I know this is a weird setup, but I am actually up in the North Georgia mountains to film some stories for you guys, specifically one story. But while I was here, because you guys had such fun with my mother, I decided to get her to share some more story time with you all. But before we go any further, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and give my mama a like. Welcome to Esoteric Atlanta. My name is Bryce, and today we're going to sit down with my mama for some more story time. I'm Alice again, Bryce's mom, and today I wanted to talk to y'all about another funny story that happened to me when I was not such a little girl, maybe in my early 20s. Uh, in Rome, we have an organization, it's, it's a national organization, it's called the Junior Service League, and um, young women, well, women would join this uh, league and we would do things to help the community. And one of the ways that we raised money to help the community was to have a Follies. So the Follies happened every two years. And what the Follies is, it's like a variety show. So there would be a lot of dancing and a lot of singing and uh, maybe some funny acts, but you know, different uh, people in the community would come together and we practice, practice, practice. It was just so much fun. It's a great way to meet people. and. Uh, of course, I grew up dancing, and I loved to be on that stage and dance, and so I was in my element. I mean, I just loved it. I was so happy to be there. So I practiced this dance with my partner, who I cannot even remember who he was, but we, our costume was, um, it was like a one-piece swimsuit and a grass skirt around our, uh, our waist that came down. So... We're out there dancing, I'm just having a good old time, and all of a sudden my grass skirt drops to the floor, and I'm standing there on the stage in front of everybody, the audience, lights on me, with, I felt like I was naked. So I didn't know what to do, so I went, ah! and I ran off the stage in my bathing suit and left my skirt lying there on the floor with my partner. He didn't know what to do and he kind of looked at me and he kind of ran off the stage too. But when I moved back to Rome recently, like a couple of months ago, we were driving around and my husband said, do they still have the Follies in Rome? And I said, yeah, you know what? Let me tell you a funny story about that. So I told him the story about what happened when my skirt fell off and, and like, 30 minutes later, we walked into a store, and the owner of that store said, Alice, hey, welcome back to Rome. She said, every time I think about you, I think about the Follies. So um, I not only did it leave a lasting impression on me, but I think I scarred a few people for life looking at me up on that stage. You know, my beautiful curvy body, half naked. <laughs> I taught you about Miss Peggy's and where it was located across the street was the fairgrounds and every year we had the county fair now in a small town um, once a year the fair comes there's rides there's good fair food there's um, well back in the day when I was a little girl there were kind of hoochie coochie shows too and you know, some of the men like to go in those, but, but that, that's no longer the case. Uh, but uh, anywho, but there was just all sorts of things to do at the county fair. They had animals, farm animals you could go see. They had pageant that going on, Miss Coosa Valley Fair, and uh, just a lot of fun stuff. So we look forward to it every year. So about the time I was in the middle school is when your parents would let you go with a group of people. And of course, you know, if you had a boyfriend, you uh, you would go with a group with your boyfriend. So I had a little boyfriend, I think I was in the seventh grade. And so we met at the fair and we were, I would, I'm, listen, I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to the fair. I, I never have liked to ride the rides. I get real nervous. So we were with a bunch of people and 
you know, there was a ride called the Zipper, and uh, it went up and down and all around, and, you know, you would go upside down and twirl, and everybody wanted to go, let's go ride the Zipper. Well, I didn't want to ride the Zipper, and my boyfriend at the time didn't want to ride the Zipper, and so we said, no, we, we weren't going to ride the Zipper. Well, you know, the boys gave us or his friends gave him so much grief about it that we said, okay, we'll ride it. Well, sure enough, we're riding the zipper and we get stuck upside down at the top. And I mean, I was scared to death, but my boyfriend was terrified. <laughs> and all I could hear him say was, dear Lord, if you get me off this, this ride alive, I promise I'll never be mean to my mother again. <laughs> so hard. Well, we got off that ride okay. I wonder if he kept his promise. <laughs>
leave y'all with one more story. I'm going to rewind and go back to my childhood. Um, they say that memories that you have are, uh, there. you get these memories because of uh, you're either really excited about something or something traumatic or scary. Well, this is a story that I remember because it, it scared me to death. So uh, when we were little, my grandparents had a beach house at um, Garden City Beach, South Carolina. And uh, which was near Polly's Island. We've talked about that before, but uh, we'd go there every summer, and um, I loved it. You know, uh, it was just I just love always being at the beach. My grandfather would take us out and ride the waves with us, and just always with such great memories. But we were looking for shark's teeth or shells or something, and I saw a starfish um, there on the sand, and so I picked the starfish up and I put it in my hand to show everybody, look, I found a starfish. And um, well, I couldn't get it off. You know, the, the little bottoms, uh, the starfish have that little suction cups on them almost like, well, I couldn't get the starfish off. <laughs> we pulled and pulled and nobody could get the starfish off. <laughs> so I, I was like five in kindergarten. So I ran up to the, the beach house and we didn't know what to do. So my mother went and got a bottle of Clorox and she poured it on top of the starfish and on top of my hand. And that was the only way that I could get the starfish off my hand. So whenever I see people like posting pictures of starfish or when I see one, I'm like, don't touch it. So thank y'all for listening to some of my stories. Um, I, I love reminiscing. I, I try to think of some more funny ones to tell, but later today, you're gonna get to meet one of my childhood friends, Beth. She was Beth Hoyt when I knew her. She's now Beth Paulson. And um, she, I uh, look forward to introducing her and, and I'll tell the story of how we met when I introduce her to you. But thanks again.